beautiful country. I first came to Croatia 20 years ago during the war and I've traveled all over the country. I've been to Rovnik, Kovčula, Brak. You are very blessed. You live in one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Beauty is the theme of today's Feast of Transfiguration. On the mountain, the disciples have a glimpse of the beauty of Jesus, which is the beauty of God. Jesus had told them that they must come with him to Jerusalem, they must suffer, and they must see him die. And they were afraid, and they did not want to listen. Everything seemed ugly. So it is the vision of the beauty of Jesus that gives them the courage to carry on and to share his life and even his death. All of us face challenges when we need courage. Perhaps we are ill or we have difficulties in our family, we quarrel with people that we love. Maybe we lose our job and we wonder what the future is. And then, like the disciples, we need a glimpse of God's beauty to help us to carry on walking. How can we glimpse the beauty of God? Notice that the face of Jesus becomes radiant. It's transformed. Israel longed to see the face of God. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. And now on the mountain they see the beauty of God in the face of Jesus. We cannot see God's face, but we glimpse God's beauty in the faces of the people whom we love. I expect that many of you are married, or at least you've got boyfriends and girlfriends. Think about when you first fell in love with your husband or your wife. I bet you thought that they were the most beautiful people in the whole world. And that's wonderful, because God will share some of his beauty with the people whom you love, your beloved. When we grow older, 
that beauty becomes more difficult to see, but it's still there.
We're in a big meeting of Dominicans from all over the world at Trogir. And we work hard all day long. And so my only chance to have a swim is at 5.30 in the morning. And usually when I get into the sea, the sun is beginning to rise over the Dalmatian hills. It is utterly beautiful. This is another revelation of God's beauty, as it said in the psalm that you just heard. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Every morning when I swim in the sea, I see that the coastlands of Dalmatia are glad. Beauty is, as the second reading said, a lamp for lighting a way through the dark until the dawn comes and the morning star rises in your minds. So today, let us remember the transfiguration. Let us remember the glimpse of God's beauty. Sometimes people are afraid of beauty because it's disturbing. It awakes strong emotions. But never, never let us be afraid of beauty. It's a sign of God. Let us learn to see it everywhere. And then we shall have the courage to carry on walking even when the challenge is great even when we see no future. How is the translation? 